you walk into simple obedience. Everybody says simple obedience. Simple obedience. But there is another. There is another. And he is not like me. I will step back and allow you to make your choices. But he comes and says to you, boy, make that choice, boy. You're stupid if you don't make that choice, boy. He will come and put all kinds of tricks and flurries in your eye. Don't study God. God just trying to keep you from something like that. He does that. He comes and glorifies the thing in your eyes. Look how good it looks. God just trying to keep you back from what could really satisfy you. Have you ever been there? Yep. Yes. He tries to make you feel that you don't have the power to choose outside of his projection. But the reality is, the mere fact that he has to come and sell his idea to you means that he does not have the right to control you. Don't you realize that the agenda of the enemy in the earth gets more prominence than God's? Amen. Yes, right. yes, right. that's true. Because the devil has to work harder. Uh -huh. Devil has to work harder. Look how most, look at all of us. We were born in this world, and even though sin is present with us when we are born, all of us know that there is a higher being. That's right, yeah. Because we were initially created for him. But he does not come to manipulate. You understand know what I'm saying? He does not come to, to drag and to pull. He comes to lead. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me, not dragged me. Not tie me with a rope around my neck and say, come this way, boy. But he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So God is not going to push Adam in a direction that Adam does not want to go. That's why some of you have not experienced God in the dimension of the depth that he wants to touch you yet. Because God feels right now that you want to be forced. And he is not in the forcing business. He wants.